My name is Waldo Jakewith, and I'm an open government technologist, and I live in the countryside outside Charlottesville, Virginia. And my recent project was developing ethics.gov for the White House, uh, which is a, a single website with all federal ethics records in one place where you could just type in somebody's name and see anything about who they've given money to, or who they've gotten money from, or who they've lobbied on behalf of, and so on. I was initially offered a position with the White House last summer of White House Entrepreneur in Residence, which sounded, I mean, just the title, like, that's amazing, <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, but they would have required that my family, that we relocate to Washington, D.C. But I just, I just had to do what, what was right for, for me and my family. Uh, but they came right back a week later with a new offer of uh, developing ethics.gov, so I'm, I'm happy with how it worked out. My wife and I have a, a good size garden here and seasonally we have uh, ducks and chickens and turkeys and we have a horse and uh, we're always looking to expand that now that we have a five month old we've been spending a great deal of time with him we knew that we wanted to live here for the rest of our lives so we wanted to, to plan a house that could grow and, and change with us so we've been here for a couple of years now I write software the same way some people paint or, or knit it's it's a creative pursuit that I enjoy and I just have a lifelong interest in government and politics. And uh, rather than painting pictures of politicians, uh, I write software to, uh, to paint pictures of politicians, I suppose, uh, in my own way. Even though a lot of the stuff that I do in Virginia I might be doing solo, I get a lot of help from a lot of people all around the country and indeed the world. There's a project that I just started uh, this spring called The State Decoded. Every state puts their laws online, but it looks like they did it in maybe 1994 and called it a day. Uh, so the, the project is developing a software so that every state's laws can be put online in a way that is, is humane and, and beautiful and easy for people to understand. And to my surprise, state governments are really interested in this. I expected that this would mostly be used by hobbyists, by open government groups, um, by geeks like me, I didn't think that I'd see states saying, yes, we would like to open up our offerings, we would like to make our law more accessible. I think a best case scenario, long run, would be for me and the work that I do to be completely useless. For governments to get in the game themselves and to anticipate the sorts of information that people are going to want. Initially, I start these things because there's a question that I want answered. But then I get to hear from people who say, I saw that website that you put up, and on it I was able to learn this thing, to find out about this injustice, or this really great thing that I didn't know existed, and it was really helpful and made a difference in my life, and thank you. And it's really satisfying. I can justify spending so much time on this by knowing that uh, for all sorts of causes, not all of which I agree with, by the way, not all these stories uh, did it result in the legislation going the way that I would have wanted it to, but I know that somebody who previously didn't feel like they have a, had a voice or somebody who didn't feel like they knew what was going on was able to understand as a result of one of my projects. Mm -hmm.